Russia and Poland trade threats of wider war that could turn nuclear. Poland must maintain close ties with the US and the Franco-German-Polish Weimar Triangle must be urgently revived, Foreign Minister Radoslav Sikorski told Parliament, noting that NATO as a defensive mechanism would withstand a Russian attack on its members and result in defeat. Sikorski gave his annual foreign policy speech focusing on the challenges resulting from NATO from the Russian threat, the need for Poland to keep close to the US and the urgency to revive the Weimar Triangle. It is not us, the West, that should fear a confrontation with Vladimir Putin, he said, adding that he did not intend to threaten Russia as NATO is a defense alliance, but to show that an attack on any NATO member would result with Russia's defeat. In the face of new challenges, Europe must improve the quality of its defence cooperation, including through the European Sky Shield initiative and by exploring other possibilities related to the EU's common security and defence policy, Sikorsky said. Besides, Poland has warned Russia that a conflict with NATO would lead to its inevitable defeat as Moscow threatens to expand its war beyond the borders of Ukraine. Russia and Poland have been trading barbs after Poland's president, Andrzej Duda, said his country would be ready to host nuclear weapons of a NATO member, and Russia moved missiles to neighboring Belarus. Duda's remarks sparked a flurry of angry responses from Russian officials who have warned Poland that it would be considered a legitimate target in the event of a direct confrontation with NATO. Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova described the Polish leader's comments as provocative. As you understand, if the American weapons are deployed on the territory of Poland, the Russian list of legitimate targets to defeat in a situation of direct military confrontation with NATO will be immediately updated, she warned. Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov said any NATO weapons sent to Poland will become a priority target for the Kremlin. According to iNews media outlet, Poland has hit back, suggesting Russia would falter if it tried to wage war with the military alliance whose presence covers a huge swathe of its borders in Europe. NATO nuclear facilities, if permanently deployed in Poland, will be a military target for Russia, Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov told. He warned that joint nuclear missions of NATO countries close to the Russian border add to the threats to Russia's security. Let alone permanent deployment hotheads in Warsaw are speaking about, Ryabkov said. That is why all those politicians who are discussing such an option in and outside Poland should understand, any steps in this direction will not add to Poland's security and relevant facilities will inevitably be a target and they will be in the fore in our military planning. According to the senior Russian diplomat, discussions around the deployment of NATO nuclear facilities in Poland are an unfolding story. He stressed that Moscow is keeping a close eye on how various bodies of Poland's executive branch are mulling this topic in their domestic discourse. In an interview with the Fact newspaper, Duda said that Poland is ready to deploy nuclear warheads under NATO's nuclear sharing program. According to the Polish president, he has discussed this matter with U.S. partners more than once. If there were a decision by our allies to deploy nuclear weapons within the nuclear sharing also on our territory in order to strengthen the security of NATO's eastern flank, we are ready, Duda said. He said Poland is aware of its obligations within the 32-member alliance that includes the United States. In Moscow, a Kremlin spokesperson said any deployment of U.S. nuclear weapons in Poland would be met with steps necessary for Russia's security. The military will, of course, analyze the situation if such plans are implemented, and in any case will do everything necessary, will take all the necessary retaliatory steps to guarantee our safety, Dmitry Peskov said. Soldiers of the invading Russian army have shot own fellow soldiers from another military unit in Okratino settlement near the city of Avdiivka in Ukraine's Donetsk region. The incident occurred as Russian invaders mistook their fellow soldiers for the soldiers of the Russian Volunteer Corps fighting within the Ukrainian army. The incident that took place on April 7 was publicized by relatives of the killed servicemen, after which the report was circulated on Telegram channels. Entering the position, Russian soldiers immediately opened fire without clarifying the identity of the soldiers standing in front of them. Then they took pictures of the killed soldiers, describing them as enemies. 
The review of the documents belonging to the soldiers revealed that those killed were soldiers of the Russian army.